This is a third season of the BAL, and um, so far it has shown a lot of improvement. The competition is also a bit higher than what we saw in the first um, season in 2021. Also, the talent that have emerged from the BAL has shown that we have a lot of talent in Africa, and we've seen this sort of talent go on to play even in the G League and so and we've seen talent come up from across Africa so but for the BL coming to Africa looking at season one two and three we've seen that even the coaches are beginning to recruit better so that's sort of affect the level of the competition now everyone wants to win the BL unlike the first season where we saw a little lethargic um, performance from some teams but this time around you see teams who are playing for the very first time even want to compete not just make up the numbers for example for example, we saw Stad Malien in the Sahara Conference, first time playing in the BAL, but they didn't look like they were just playing their debut season. They played very fearless, they are a very athletic side, and they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the U.S. Monastery guys, the defending champions. And at the end of the day, um, it was just, um, will I say, a little margin, they lost to U.S. Monastery. But they came out fearless, and at the end of the day, they even won the Sahara Conference. They beat all odds to win the Sahara Conference. Looking at ABC as well, first time playing in the BAL. So these are teams playing for the very first time but they are making their mark. It goes to show that the coaches are doing their job. Players from across the world also want to play in Africa. They say that the BL is a good product to the Europe and also to the US. Yeah, everyone says Petro and I wouldn't blame them because looking at uh, the progression of Petro from the first season, um, they finished third place, um, losing out in the semi-finals to the eventual winner Zamalek. But second season, they went far, like a step closer. They went uh, to the final, but they were beaten by U.S. Monaster, and I think it took, it was a very slim one in that particular game, like I remember, but it took the last two minutes of that game for U.S. Monaster to emerge champions. Now they've shown that we are here to win it. Look at how they performed in the Now Conference. They went 5-0 and oh in the Now Conference. So, and beefing up their roster with Eta Majok, defensive player of 2022, and also Diabate, who has won the first two editions, season one and season two, with U.S. Monaster and Zamalek. So maybe a bit of luck added to the Petro side. And you still have the coach of the side, Jose Neto. So that's like icing in the cake for them. And they've kept the chemistry going. They've played compact. They played together. And if you look at the number of assists they usually register in each game, it shows that it's a team that has strong chemistry. So I wouldn't blame people tipping them to win it.